Project Zomboid has a problem, and if you don't know about it, this might save your life. Now, I'm not talking about the thousands of zombies outside your door. No, I'm talking about something you almost can't even see. It's hidden right here in this little arrow. I call it your Weight Watcher, and if you keep an eye on it, you can get better damage, better endurance, and a better idea of how to manage your food sources. The problem is, the details on how to do all this are hidden inside the game files, and with a recent change to this system under the hood, it is getting deadlier than ever. So I cracked open the files, I stole their secrets, and I did a bunch of testing. Now let's talk about weight and calories in Project Zomboid. We'll start with the basics, let's go back to that arrow. If it's going up, you're gaining weight. If it's going down, you're losing it. Both directions can get bad fast. Your character starts with a weight of 80 kilograms, but they start becoming underweight at 75 kilos and overweight at 85 kilos. The short version of the story here is that overweight characters have up to a 60% penalty on endurance recovery, they take more fall damage, they're more prone to fractures, and they have a slower movement speed. But underweight characters have it tough too, because they deal up to 60% less damage, uh, they're more likely to get knocked down when bumping into Zeds, and their endurance recovery is up to 70% worse. So you can see if you want to stay alive, you'll get a big advantage just from maintaining the right weight. So our first Zomboid nutrition topic here is going to be calories, because calories control your weight. First, you need to know that your character carries an internal calorie balance. They gain calories by eating food, and they lose calories by, well, living. If at any time you don't have enough calories in the bank, your weight will go down. If you have too many calories, your weight will go up. This calorie system is actually the cause of a major problem that was introduced just over a month ago, where we now spend calories like crazy. Drop a comment if you came here, because you are always underweight. I'll bet there's a lot of you. So let's see how we spend calories and find where the problem is. Here's where we start. If your calorie bank dips below zero, you will lose weight, and if it goes above 1600, you will gain weight. Easy, right? Wrong! This is Project Zomboid, fool, and nothing is easy. Your calorie needs will actually change, depending on your weight. If you are underweight, you will need fewer calories to gain weight, and you can carry a lower negative calorie balance before you lose weight. For example here, a character who's 40 kilograms can have negative 800 calories and still not lose weight, and they will gain weight if they have only 150 calories in the bank. Meanwhile, if you're overweight, uh, you still need less than zero calories to lose weight, that doesn't change, but you will need more calories to gain weight. For example, if you're 120 kilos, you need about 3,200 kilograms in the bank to gain weight. So since your target calories here is always changing, don't worry about it. Instead, when you notice you have a problem with weight, let me tell you how to fix it. First, let's talk about how we reduce calories and help you lose weight. At any given moment, your character is burning calories based on three main factors. The first and most significant factor is your movement activity, and this is also the source of a problem that is making us all super underweight. The game will spend a number of calories per second based on what type of movement you're doing. To help us compare these costs, I've translated these costs per second into costs per hour. So here we go. Sleeping burns only 10.8 calories per hour. Then for idling, just standing there, your hourly burn rate is 50 7.6. Uh, walking, your rate is 280.8. If you're climbing a fence or a window, you'll burn 460 calories per hour. But of course, it doesn't take an hour to climb a fence, so that's just a short spike in your burn rate. Then running, you burn 468, and sprinting will burn a massive 608.4 calories per second. So you see, running and sprinting are the highest cost activities here when we measure calorie spending over time. But many people on Steam, Reddit, and YouTube have all noticed that if we measure calories over distance instead of time, there is a problem. In general, these testers have found that walking a distance actually costs about 10% more calories than running does, because calories are reduced over time, and running just covers more distance in less time. Check out Retinaru's video in the description for some very clear testing on this, and check out the calorie fix mod in the description by Dreadlord Naf. Uh, this mod changes the walking cost to about one third of the rate, so from 280 calories per hour down to a lovely 103. Uh, I think it's a great fix and it feels like it plays really well. Check that out. Okay, so whether or not you try that mod, remember movement is not the only calorie factor here. So let's move on to our second big factor in calorie burn. You'll see my mod here has something called metabolism. In the game code, it is actually your energy level multiplier. This multiplier gets applied to your calorie burn. So if it's high, you burn more calories, and if it's low, you burn less. Now, you can see from my tests that just by getting a little bit cold, I was able to get a 1.1 multiplier on my calorie burn. It didn't take long to get this, but that's an extra 10% burn, and over time, 
it could quickly have you losing weight. Uh, it is harder to do this with an overweight character because they have a higher body temperature, but strip down and stay cold and maybe that'll be a good way for you to lose some extra weight. The thing is though, it appears that this multiplier only gets used when you are sleeping or idling. If you are doing any sort of movement, it uses your movement cost alone with no other multiplier. Okay, so despite that, our third calorie factor here is actually just being idle. Because if your movement is idle, there are still things you can actually do in that state, and this will affect your calorie cost. Here's what I found. First, doing exercise will approximately triple your idle calorie burn. Second, having high hunger or high fatigue will slow down your calorie burn by about 1% each. It's very small, but there you go. Finally, here's a big one. Attacking with weapons will increase your idle calorie burn by two to eight times. In in general, one-handed weapons burn around three to four times the calories, while two-handed weapons seem to burn six to eight times the usual amount. I couldn't find great consistency here with the weapon weights, I'm not sure exactly where the weapons come from, but both one-handed and two-handed weapons increase your calorie burn. And I did notice that if you're carrying too much weight, anything over maximum capacity, this will add about 10% to this kind of combat calorie cost. It doesn't matter how much weight you have, as long as it is over your capacity, you will see this added calorie cost. But now, very important, if you do any sort of movement while you attack, the game seems to revert back to your movement cost alone. So if you're moving, it does not care about hunger or temperature or combat or inventory. It only cares about your movement cost. So basically, if you really want to maximize your calorie loss in a day, you should fight from a standstill, use two-handed weapons when you can, uh, make sure you're not hungry, not tired, and you should be very, very cold. And if you want to keep calories, then just do the opposite of all that. Okay, so now let's forget calories for a moment. You have other nutrition scores as well. Did you know that your scores in fat and carbohydrates can dramatically increase your weight gain? Uh, if you have at least 400 fat or 400 carbohydrates in the bank, you get a times two multiplier on your weight gain. But if you have at least 700 fat and 700 carbs, you get a three times multiplier on your weight gain. So this only applies when you're gaining weight from calories, but this is huge for starving characters who need to boost their weight quickly or for players who like to take under weight in character creation just for those juicy starting points. And the game will tell you when you have one of these multipliers, because if you have either two times or a three times multiplier on, the game will show you you have two Weight Watcher arrows instead of one. But sadly, there is no such multiplier when it comes to losing weight. So what can you do? Well, maybe you can eat salad to lose weight. Actually, no, don't eat salad. If you eat prepared food, it actually gives you more calories, more fat, more carbs, and more protein uh, based on the cooking level of whoever makes it. So if you want to keep your calories down, just eat unprepared foods that are low in fats or carbs, like uh, lettuce and eggplants. Yummy. All right, so once you are losing calories, they're gonna keep going down until the limit of negative 2200. That is the lowest they will go, uh, but your weight will continue to go down. Then if you ever wanna gain weight again, just keep eating calories until you see your Weight Watcher arrow pointing up. All right, let's put it all together now. Let's talk about meal planning. How many calories should you eat every day to maintain your weight? Well, assuming you weigh around 80 kilos, take an average day of activity with walking, some running, uh, a good sleep and some idle activities as a very rough figure. You'll probably burn 2,200 to 3,600 calories over the course of the day. So eat that much, 2,200 to 3,600. And finally now, an announcement. This is pretty cool for me. I made a game. That's right, I finally learned enough programming to make a game of my own, and it's called Gaia Snake. I'm told that it's very zen, very atmospheric with the music, and pretty addictive. Uh, I'm really excited to start sharing it with people, and if you want, you can get it on itch.io right now. It's pay what you want, starting at zero dollars, so free game. It's out for PC, I put the link in the description for you, and if you do download it, I really appreciate any honest comments or ratings that you can leave me there on itch. I have another nutrition video coming soon, survivors, so until then, keep safe in the end times. Thanks for watching, and now check out these next videos if you want more Project Zomboid.